we have to ask the hard question, why is this so? I mean, I hear this as a priest so often. Why the cross? Why must we suffer? Why is there no love in this life without the cross? What makes suffering indispensable? I mean, even as his, his physical strength was starting to fade him, he had this sense of mission that he never abandoned until his, his last his last day. When he was very ill at the end, I used to visit him from time to time, and I used to ask him if there's anything I could bring him, and he would say, just bring me your sins. He wanted to just be a priest that was taking care of us even towards the end, as he was really um, in bad shape himself. When he first went home to, on hospice care, um, I wanted to go see him, and I wanted to bring some of our kids to see him, and. I said, would you hear my confession? And he turned to the children and he said, not with them here. <laughs> and I thought, of course not. You know, he was always a priest. He was, he was just a wonderful priest. Those around him knew that he was not just suffering, but he was sacrificing. And that's a great priestly example. It's a great fatherly example and a great inspiration. I was just going up to bed and I suddenly got a text from Father Arnie. And the text said, I have a Scottish friend I want you to meet. As much as I loved Father Arnie, I was like, eight, I was about to get in my pajamas. And I said, oh really, where are you? Thinking I could just put him off. And he said, on your back porch. And I thought, he's brought company. He's got a, some Scottish guy on my back porch. So I opened the door. And there he is standing with a bottle of single malt scotch. He said, here's my Scottish friend I want you to meet. I would describe Father Arnie as joyful and faithful. Holy. That solid, dependable person. Fearless. One word I would use to describe him is fatherly. And I think that sort of embraces all of the different dimensions that he brought. The deepest truth that you see in everyone that has been shaped by Father Arnie is he enlivened you with confidence for the gospel. Father Arnie would, would challenge you, your ideas and your perspectives, but he would do so in a very inviting way. That is a very important part of having an effective ministry, and I think that was a very critical feature of what he offered through the Catholic Information Center here in D.C. The way that Father Arnie has invested in young professionals continues to amaze me, and he was a servant to the end. He had an absolute servant's heart. He worked with powerful people and he worked with the powerless. He was as kind to members of Congress as he was to the homeless. My experience with uh, uh, Father Arnie's portrait was uh, absolutely incredible. So I exactly wanted to uh, show that uh, how humble he was, how profound he was, uh, how spiritual, how holy he was. A humble genius is one of the rarest of all things, and I think Father Arnie was like that. He was a man of serious intellect, he had a great mind, but at the same time there was a tremendous humility. We talk about Father Arnie a lot in our house. And we talk about this great friend of Mommy and Daddy's who loves Jesus more than anything, and who was one of the smartest men we ever knew. I want to tell my kids about this living saint who showed me what it meant to work hard who showed me through his example what it means to offer your work to Jesus.